Well, in some ways, I've got something a little bit different for you. In many ways, I've got something exactly the same. It's a video diary here on Edgar TV, but this time it's not of the darts. This time it's of WrestleMania. WrestleMania 40 happening in Philadelphia. My first ever WrestleMania, and it's sort of been a bucket list thing that I've always wanted to do. I've followed the wrestling literally my entire life from the day of playing with Hasbro wrestling figures. I think my first memory of WrestleMania was WrestleMania 9, the Outdoor Caesars Palace, and it was a flight into New York to JFK to start things off. We didn't have too long in New York, but an opportunity to get a couple of bucket list things done. First of all, a bit of a taxi ride in a yellow cab. We was getting the train, so we wasn't able to go too far away from the station, but enough to see the building that Elf's dad worked at. I remember that one from Elf the movie. Also managed to check out Madison Square Garden, where you think of things like Triple H versus Cactus Jack, or Jeff Hardy jumping off with a yellow taxi in the background. I think that was the Royal Rumble, if I was... Not too mistaken. But another thing I've always wanted to do, you'll see right here, is get a hot dog. It's something about getting a hot dog in New York, something I've always kind of wanted to do. I think it's all the TV shows that you see and all the different sort of movies that you see as well. And it was actually quite nice. Really enjoyed this hot dog. And only $3 as well. I'll certainly be getting one of those when I go back to New York because I'm definitely going back to New York for a proper holiday at some point. So, so much to see there. But just an hour wasn't really enough time to do that. We needed to get into the train station, head ourselves down to Philadelphia to try and complete what was about a 16-hour journey down to Philly in total. Quick bite of food, popped into the Hard Rock Cafe. At this point, flagging a little bit, so it literally just was a little bit of food, and then over to the apartment to get some sleep ready for WrestleMania, or WWE World as it's now called, isn't it? I've never been to it before, but it's something I've seen and always wanted to go to, so... Didn't really sleep too well, got myself a bit of video editing in before checking out the sights of Philadelphia from the apartment. Weather was a bit hit and miss at times, certainly when we landed it was raining, we had an earthquake here as well, but pretty good on today, on the Friday, we headed into Reading Terminal Market, which is pretty incredible place if you've never been to philadelphia or if you're planning on going to philadelphia do make sure you go check this out it's a massive haul of every single type of food that you can imagine from around the world i chose myself a bit of beef brisket which was incredible with brownies and bakeries and you can have uncooked or cooked food because if you've got an apartment you might want to do your own bits as well i did really enjoy the food over in philadelphia i had a philadelphia cheesecake with some cheesecake cheese steak with some sweet potato fries and proper Mountain Dew. Now, anyone from the UK knows we don't get proper Mountain Dew in the UK. That is proper Mountain Dew. The whole city sort of embraces the experience of the WWE and WrestleMania. If you've ever been to WrestleMania, you'll know that it's not just the show and the event. It's like a week-long event now. WWE World was something I was really looking forward to going and checking out. I've seen lots of videos and YouTube clips over the time. And again, if you're ever going to WrestleMania, you have to go to WWE World, even if it's just for one day. This sort of a museum, Triple H said it best when he said that if you're a wrestling fan, you'd absolutely love WWE World. And two right as well. All the stage sets that are up. They had ECW stage set up in there. They had sort of memorabilia from other WrestleManias, an Attitude Era tour. They had people were getting tattoos. Not only that, but you get like shows. So the day we went on the Friday, Pat McAfee had his show, which had people like Cody Rhodes, not Cody, uh, Triple H. Um, well, I can't think of them all off the top of my head. I've just seen it. But anyway, there was loads of people on there. The different stages and sets around the room where people come and do photos and autographs and sign-ins. They had the VIP, the upgrade ones, where you get like the, the real big stars have been in there, such as Hulk Hogan was in one day. CM Punk. Day we was there, Seth Rollins was on a show, uh, Becky Lynch on a show. This was over on the main stage. The Rock appeared on there. So definitely... A big, big part of the WrestleMania sort of experience and weekend. Computer game. Also, it literally is loaded. You can literally spend the whole day in there and still feel like there's plenty more to do. 
WWE stall, mega store, should I say, that is also in the convention center. This place was incredible. As someone like myself, who's a big sort of memorabilia fan and collecting, I had to go in there, got myself the WWE mini belt for the event. Weren't too badly priced either. It's $189 for a lifetime collectible in a lovely presentation case as well. But I literally spent hours in here just walking around, looking at the memorabilia, all the different t-shirts and all the different bit, literally everything that you could think of that stuck a WrestleMania logo on it. But some real, really nice bits in there. WWE World done unexplored and it was hopping on the train or the subway should I say to head down to the arenas all the arenas within close touching distance Wrestlemania happening on the one in the background there but today it's about Smackdown it's about the Hall of Fame and we headed over to the arena where the show was going to be and again another little mini show sort of popping up like I mentioned earlier on if you're coming over for Wrestlemania it's not just about the show these days it is literally everything the whole experience this show that we watched here it had the so starting it off having a bit of a face off then we had CM Punk come out then we had uh, Seth Rollins Drew McIntyre they did some really good work actually on there and I saw a lot of the stuff that Drew McIntyre quoted sort of going around the various news sites really wanted to go in and check this out and see what Wrestlemania was like and the stage set they did the reveal through social media they also included that as part of the Smackdown show as well the big thing I was looking forward to here though was the Hall of Fame the induction of Paul Heyman everyone was sort of waiting around for that and thinking about what he's going to say he told us in the media that he wasn't going to have anything prepared so it could have been anything Getting into the arena, some really good seats. I spotted these guys going round again. Something that I've kind of always wanted to do, you know. When people go around, hot dogs, get your hot dogs, or candy floss, get your home. I've always kind of wanted to buy from them vendors, because if you're watching this from outside the UK, we don't tend to do that. Like, we go to our sport events, and we don't tend to have the people walking around the crowd, and m maybe we should, maybe we should. Smackdown, this is the first time I've watched Smackdown, I've watched Raw, Raw was in the UK, so not like an American version of Raw, so it was great to be at my first ever Smackdown, I've watched various house shows and things like that, but this was the, the first sort of experience I've had of Smackdown in the US, really, really good show actually, when you looked at the lineup, you thought maybe it's not going to quite deliver as much, but really good lineup straight after that they get into the hall of fame it was I, I quite enjoyed watching this bit like the setup just to see how quick it gets turned around they sort of got a 10 minute window and they've got to roll out the carpet take the ropes down get everything set up sticker up the posts get the podium in it was an absolute frantic job but they nailed it in the end and it, i just think i enjoyed watching that just as much as i did the show because i tend to like the processors hall of fame they opened up with paul Heyman. I couldn't believe it at the time. I thought it was like a promo package. And then it's like, no, they're actually going to open with Paul Heyman, who delivered one of the greatest speeches or inductions that you probably have ever seen. It was an incredible induction of Paul Heyman. And then they sort of died a little bit the night. Paul Heyman left the stage. As he left the stage, a lot of people also started to leave the arena. And by the time the second act came on, the arena had got to the point where it was half empty or half full, whichever way you want to look at it. The arena was half the people in it. Now, they did come up on the stage and say, oh, we've got The Undertaker come in, we've got The Rock come in, which was kind of a moment where we was like, do you know what? Well, we'll stick around for a bit longer then. I want to see The Undertaker and The Rock. Of course I do. At WrestleMania, but I, I was under the impression that I also wanted to see out the Hall of Fame induction was Paul Heyman. And when they opened with him, again, I, I was one of those people that was like, I, I might leave until obviously we found out there was some other bits coming on. It's a full day, you know, at this point we're talking gone 11 o'clock at night and you've been out and you've been on it all day that, you know, maybe this ran too long it did cause a couple of issues you know the last train left or the last subway left at 12 o'clock this didn't finish till one so it did cause a couple of travel issues for a couple of people which not ideal certainly how long but we we got to see the rock you don't mind do you 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 have wrestlemania you expect to hit a couple of issues and it's worth it when you get to see the great one presented with his championship 
day number three of the WrestleMania experience. Yeah, day three. And we've still got loads to do. Really loving this. Being Philadelphia, the home of Rocky, I just had to go down to the Rocky Steps. The Rocky statue is there. It's at the bottom of the steps, not at the top of the steps as you would see in the movie. But still a great experience to be down there seeing this. It was exactly what I expected it to be, really. People just running up and down the stairs the entire time. I thought there may have been a bit more like merchandise or memorabilia there. People sort of cottoning onto that. There is one stall down there. Sort of sells shirts and a few little bits but i thought there'd be a little bit more on terms of that certainly i expected to see like some ice cream stalls or things like that's been wrestlemania weekend as well so i was a little bit surprised to see it not very tourist so to speak but look at this i, I had to sit down halfway up the stairs and just watch people just running up and down the whole time jumping around on the top with the arms in the air taking in that view of sort of over Philadelphia, just like in the movie. You might recognise it here. Rocky standing up at the top, arms are lofted in the air, looking over Philadelphia. I have sort of compared the two photos side by side. A lot of it still is the same, certainly the city skyline. There's not too much of that changed over time, but really good experience. I've watched Rocky all my life, and I've probably watched the film about 109 times, not that I'm counting, but brilliant experience. Went into the town to get some food. We found that this was a bit of a place to go. It's sort of embracing the full WrestleMania experience. They actually made different foods and drinks. So some cocktails that was like is it the rock bottom. They did the same with the pizzas as well. You could have a, a Hulk Hoagie, <laughs> a Sting pizza. The, the Too Sweet was a dessert. So yeah, this was sort of some of our lines. I really embraced the tourism of the weekend, which was the WrestleMania experience. But it was WrestleMania time. WrestleMania night one. The first time I've ever been to WrestleMania. It was down at the Lincoln Field Stadium. Now, the first thing again, like I said the night before, there's sort of little pop-up shows and little things all the way around the arena going on. So I did want to go check some of those out, see what was going on, try to get a bit of merchandise if possible. Literally outside the arena, you've got CM Punk, Big E, Pat McAfee and Michael Cole, who, by the way, was involved in pretty much everything the entire weekend. One of the hardest working men I've ever seen. Literally everywhere you went, Michael Cole was on it merchandise was a bit hard to get hold of due to the fact of the queues like really long queues and not many people working behind the stall either which was a little bit surprising i did really like the fact they had mountain dew on tap as you know big big fan of that and the pepsi wild cherry i got both of those in a wrestlemania souvenir mug our seats for the show, I don't think the camera angle here does it quite justice because it we looked at it was a much better view than what it appears on camera. It seems like we're really far back, but it didn't feel like that at the time. I am someone who likes to prefer to sit in the stand rather than on the floor because I do like to see everything. That's sort of like my experience. I like to see the stage. I like to see the ramp. I like to see the ring. Well, when you're a bit close, you don't tend to get all of that in. Now... This was my first WrestleMania experience. It's something I've watched my entire life. And at times I found it a little bit overwhelming, actually, because it was WrestleMania. It was something I always wanted to do, but was never really able to afford to go to. So to be in a position now that I can actually afford to go to it, it, it was actually at times a bit overwhelming for me and the story and the journey that I've been on in regards to how far away I was from ever being able to afford it was always like a bucket list location something I always said I want to go to one day and I'm so glad I did we got the best ever Wrestlemania experience Triple H opening the show Stephanie McMahon coming out onto the show The Rock obviously wrestling in the main event of night one Cody taking the belt on night two we had john cena come out we had some incredible matches literally every single match on the card delivered when you're there time just flies by night one though it was a little bit tricky it was very very cold in the arena the wind sort of cutting through they did refer to it quite a lot on the sort of commentary as well which was good to try and get over just how cold it was in the arena one of the things I've always really liked is when the lights go down, when, when the night time kicks in and the WrestleMania lights kick in. 
something I've always really enjoyed watching it on TV. And I had to get a few clips of this just to show the difference between sort of when the daytime's there and the nighttime. It really does set the tone and the ambience. And it, it's incredible. It is a spectacle like no other. If you haven't been to WrestleMania, I fully recommend you do it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go again next year. We've just got to wait for the location to come out. And when you look at the stories and everything that's sort of happening in wrestling at the moment... I've got a taste for it now, I've got the flavour, I don't think I'm not going to be able to go to WrestleMania for a few years, so certainly it, it's got my interest, like I say, if you can go, go, certainly, it's like, no, I, I'm literally trying to, to sell it to you, I'm trying to put it across into words, but it's a whole week, it's the whole experience, it's not just the show, it's everything that goes on in the day, it's the whole, if you, anyone who's been to WrestleMania will know what I'm trying to describe here, I just literally don't have the vocabulary to get across how amazing the WrestleMania experience is. The cost of things, though, was a bit eye-watering. We had a chicken meal, which was just chicken strips and, and the drinks. It cost, like, $70. Uh, people were having a pizza that was costing, like, $50. It was literally eye-watering prices at the arena for things. Uh, my brother had a beer, and it cost him 17 quid. 17 quid for a beer. So, yeah, if you do need to budget well for it. You're probably going to be looking around about three to £4,000 if you want to do it well in terms of having the shows. Did go get a bit more merchandise, though. Couldn't help myself. A lot of it had sold out. They sort of underestimated sort of the impact of the merchandise. I know all the programs had sold out. All the mini belts had sold out by Friday. I got the pin set. They all sold out. Literally galore. I saw recently at Cody Rhodes has spent a million dollars worth of merchandise has been sold of Cody Rhodes merch over the weekend. So real big boost there for the WWE. But to wrap this up, fantastic experience. Probably the best ever WrestleMania. And the fact I got to be there, I can tell you now, it will not be my last. 